another video. We are surely mind of all trades. And just a quick shout out to uh shoot data zero and uh showing some love to my page for the support uh for getting the fam all together and subbing to my channel it means a lot to me and um i expect nothing but great things looking forward and also looking forward to collaborating with you one day and see what we can do so thank you dz and thank you to the fam and to those that you already know on my mind and uh yeah let's get it so right now we're gonna be talking about peggy figure symbol p-e-g-y pineapple energy just a solar energy and uh just a quick overview of what peggy is all about just to give you a quick uh description real quick and if uh, you've been following the news of what's been going on, President Joe Biden had uh, slapped some uh, tariffs against China. And, uh, well, one of those items uh, from those tariffs has something to do with solar energy and solar cells. And pineapple energy is focused on local and regional solar storage and energy services companies nationwide. So we're talking about um, solar electricity paired with uh, battery storage. And they work with uh, a couple of brands there. So yeah, just, uh, just a quick overview on that. And uh, just to go back to the chart here, let me show you real quick. And what's happening and as you know that that news was uh, this news was actually mentioned uh, the middle of May right around here at this point 13 the 14th I think was the the release of that news for the Chinese tariffs and uh, which sent solar stocks um, ripping for a couple of days including pineapple energy and also um, as I have mentioned previously uh, my other video my other previous video on uh, PEGY first solar uh, became uh, one of those stocks too as well and as you can see here right around the same time uh, May 14th this actually went skyrocketing on May well, I want to say May 21st, yeah. So from uh, right around 200 all the way to the peak at 280, 284, 285 around there, and that's a big, that's a big move. So um, yeah, so solar stocks like that, like uh, like uh, for solar and Peggy. So as we look back, and you can actually see. How um, it actually had a reaction to that. So, um, real quick, as you notice, it seems to me that um, this actually has taken quite a trend, um, especially here on the four hour. And as uh, I go ahead and do this, I'm going to do this uh, on the fly. I'm literally doing this um, as I go and just showing you exactly like what this would have looked like. Now, even though the the two spikes here, I feel like, you know, we would still, we would still have to follow this channel. And it seems like it had been following this channel pretty well and looks like it's ready to have another push-up in my opinion here especially when we look at the elliott wave how it's actually uh establishing the bottom and rebounding 
and possibly seeing this uh, back in the yellow, which is uh, supposed to be positive. I actually customized it to be this way. So when it's bright yellow, then that means the momentum is actually increasing to the upside. LA waves looking positive, and also the MACD, the 5-in-1 MACD here that I have here, also establishing a bottom, looking for that potential move to the upside, crossing over and flipping to the green, which is uh, healthy signs, positive signs for Peggy to start pegging again and pegging real good. Also, if you noticed here as well, let me just zoom in a little bit. The 50 day simple moving average is straying away from the 200 day. And we have here the bounce on the seven day simple moving average. So it's actually building that support here for the candles to start trading above and uh, creating that sign of uh, strength for Peggy to try to break potentially as we here make this box that I like to do as this could be the potential next area of uh, resistance right around 24 to 25 cents and after that if it continues then we can possibly see this above 30 cents and following this channel and then afterwards if more volume persists and um, a lot more investors in my opinion take uh, notice of this then a lot of volume could be pumping into this and perhaps we can see this break above this channel um of course not financial advice but take it as so and that you already know that you're your own decision maker of your own money and you're in your, in your own investments as long as you're playing the safe take this as for example a scalping opportunity or maybe a swing and uh, know your limits of course um, <laughs> don't get stuck holding the bag of course because <laughs> Peggy Peggy might just uh, turn your turn her back on you and uh, then again you get stuck now that's just one that's just one scenario and that is that is the bullish case scenario as I like to put it now the bearish case scenario this could happen and this could result also in um, in reactions to the market depending on what the situation is but I kind of do see somewhat of a head and shoulders for Peggy I I could be wrong all right don't quote on me but if this is known to be true then we could see this completion of the right shoulder and possibly the breakdown of Peggy to come back down to these levels between 10 and 15 cents. If that's, that's if it completes the shoulder in my opinion. So um, just be mindful of that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually look into the lower time frames like the hourly and see what that says but you already know you always have to make sure you look at all time frames to see if it's actually confirming with the other time frames in um, confirming the trend which it seems like it's taking more of the bullish case scenario because you can see here now the Elliott wave is actually moving up or it's more positive uh, momentum and the 5 and 1 MACD2 as well had just crossed to the green and it's looking like there's more potential to the upside so see there this is why you always have to make sure that you um, don't you know always second guess yourself and confirm with the other time frames if, uh, if that makes sense so you can see it here now you see in in a way how this is looking like it's wanting to bounce because the 50 day moving uh, simple moving average wants to do this if this is the case 
then you have yourself that confirmation to the upside and that um, that break for uh, 24 to 25 cents. So that would be the next uh, the next area of resistance. All right. So just uh, take a mental note on that. Overall, I think this is quite interesting, but keep out and look keep a lookout and um, keep a lookout on what's going on with the markets because that could make a difference as well on Peggy. Check you know solar stocks too as well to see what they're doing. And yeah, just follow, you know, follow what the market is doing. All right, so there's your take on that. Well, that's my take on Peggy, and hopefully Peggy behaves. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. And if you uh, like this type of content, of course, show some love. So show some love, spread it about, spread it around, and um, yeah, we'll, all, we'll see what happens within the next two days, which we have left here. Well, actually, as a matter of fact, I said two days, but tomorrow's Wednesday, so that makes it three days. <laughs> so if I've been saying that in my other videos, it's three days. So we have Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to see what happens in the markets with these tickers that I am uh, talking about. And yeah, so by all means, take care of yourselves. Be safe trading tomorrow. And we'll see you in the next video. Yours truly. Line of all trades. Much love. Take care.